no, no, you can look. But Never you work. We're architects, what? and you're watching Bitcam. So yeah. easy. One, two, three, four. Hi, Hi we're architects. No, Tara. Hi, we're architects, <laughs> and you're watching Bitcam. One, two. Hi, Hi we're, we're architects. architects. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're architects, and you're watching Bitcam. Okay, ready? Hi, Hi we're, we're architects, architects, and you're watching Bitcam. No. I'm not sure. That, that'll that do, but leave awesome. that. Uh, yeah, really cool thing. Hi, we're architects. Yeah, well done, Mr. Swimple. Hi, we're We're sitting here today with architects. Hi. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? I am Tom, and I play guitar. I'm um, Dan. I play drums. I'm Tim. I also <laughs> play guitar. It's the do I look in the camera debate. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Always a hot topic. I don't know. So your last album, Hallowed Crown, was released last year in January. Do you guys have any plans on a new one coming up so far? Or? Yeah, we're gonna we're just finishing up writing it now, and uh, we're gonna go to the United States of America to record it in May. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I think that's it's the plan. It's the plan. Yeah. So when you guys are all back at home, because you all have to, you know, stay in a bus together for maybe like a month, do you guys party together then when you're back at home too, or just kind of stay away from less each and other? Less. Yeah. less and less. Yeah. You see each other less and less when we're home. So you don't keep in like okay, you keep in contact. Yeah. But you guys don't. Like call each other. Or... Us three hang out yeah. the most, probably. I mean, we're brothers, so we live together, so we hang out a lot. But yeah, uh, yeah the three of us hang out a lot. With Sam and Ali. The of... other two guys in the band don't live as close, so we don't see them very often. But yeah, we sort of stay kind of separate these days when we're home. Don't do anything when we're home anymore. When we're home now, we tend to just do nothing really boring. I hate it. Yeah, it's rubbish. So you guys are going to work? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. It's the first Everything thing I've ever heard say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So when you go... Get, hang on, give us two months and we might see a different yeah, yeah. response. To it. <laughs> yeah, it depends when you catch us. Yeah, right now, it's good. So when you go touring, do you guys ever have time to go sightseeing? Like, what countries have you really been able to actually see? Uh, Australia, we always kind of make yeah. an effort to go look around. Don't we, right? we should make more of an effort. This is the fifth time I've been to Berlin. I haven't seen the Berlin Wall, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, tomorrow we have a whole day in Berlin, so I think we're planning on yeah, we're gonna yeah, go actually see seeing something. We've got to do it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, we actually very rarely bother. We sort of stay in bed for ages, moan about being bored, then play, and then it's stay up really late and get drunk. It's going to get to the point where we're so bored that we're going to have sightseeing. to start sightseeing. But whenever we do yeah. sightsee, um, we're always really glad that we did it and it makes today so much more interesting but yeah. we just don't never we just never learn so what was the best tour you guys ever did like with which bands the tour that you're always like that nobody nothing's going to talk that tour we just did a great tour in australia we did yeah. a, a tour at soundwave festival and it was just it, it was basically like a five days in, in australia in all the major cities and it was just a huge festival every day and we had loads of friends on it and we got treated great and and Australia is a beautiful country, so that was amazing. Um, done a lot yeah. of really good ones. It's, yeah. it's definitely hard to choose because some tours I, you know, look back on fondly for different reasons. Like the yeah. Beecher tour, our first ever tour, yeah. everything was really exciting, but the shows were shit. But then we, we didn't go, care. Yeah, we didn't care no because we had no expectations. Yeah. But, so yeah. But yeah, we we we've definitely done like the first, we did a tour with uh, Partway Drive and a whole load of other bands in Europe. And we had just been in the States for six weeks for the first time. And we came back and did that, and it was like the best thing ever. The first date was here in Berlin, and it felt like we were at home compared to what it felt like in the States. So we, we, that was, that we really enjoyed that because yeah. it was from one extreme to the other. We had a tough time in the States and a great time. That was here, definitely so. one of the best tours we've ever done. Yeah. So I think the it's first hard to never choose like we did. one best tour we've ever done. Yeah. But there's like a few that. Because we're spoiled for good hey, tours. The tour yeah. we just came off before this with a day to remember. Uh, in the UK was absolutely amazing as well. So I don't know we've been pre we've been pretty spoiled when it comes to good tours, I guess. So it was your first time in the States, like ever, like ever? That time that was two years ago. We've been again since, which was pretty good actually. But the first time was yeah. just tough, difficult, yeah. uh, wrong sort of crowd for us, and sort of uh, felt like we were not really getting much done <laughs> in terms of building there. It was a bit scary. Yeah, definitely uh, the toughest tour we've done, I think. We're, we're, we're Europeans, come on. European, <laughs> European for life. 
If you guys could take like a month off, what would you say be your dream vacation to do? Go to Melbourne. Yeah, go to Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah. Sound wave festival. You guys just love Australia. Australia, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a lot. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. So. What's they, the... they like us. So. It's mute shops. What's the worst injury like you guys have ever gotten on tour, or have you even had an injury? No, no, it's you get hurt. Cut your finger in Belgium once. Yeah, it wasn't very <laughs> With bad. With a guitar though. string. I, first time we were in the States actually, I played a game called Football Manager so much on my laptop in the van that I got a, a tennis elbow. From playing computer? Yeah, from playing on my laptop for like six hours a day. And I, I still suffer from it a bit and I had to go see a physio and I could barely play drums and stuff. So that wasn't really to do with playing, but it was to do with being on tour. The injuries you get aren't very shocking. No, they're quite annoying. Like, I had a problem with a nerve in my finger. I couldn't play guitar for a few months. That's Ali, broke, exactly Ali broke his neck once. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> he did a triple backflip on stage. <laughs> yeah, he was trying yeah. to do that thing with that guy and bleeding through. Yeah, he went... <laughs> and then landed on his neck and everyone just pointed at him. Yeah, that. and everyone couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. But he's okay now. His so. spine, that was, that his was actually... spine popped out. Yeah, we it? had to get a trampoline on stage to pull off the backflip. It was pretty insane. Some of this is exaggeration or yeah, Paraphrasing fiction, a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think uh, your craziest fans are? Like, where, oh. you, where the people just go... I mean, oh, right, the, the, okay. The, the no, best the... place for us is, is the UK, because we've been playing there the longest, and uh, yeah, the UK is amazing. But after that, Australia's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah more of the same. Let's Australia's more about Australia. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, we could if you want us to. We could talk. <laughs> but the UK is obviously the best by, by quite some way, and the tour we just did there was absolutely amazing. And, it's just a shame that it's this big. You guys should move there. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's on the cards. <laughs> yeah. So have you ever had, like, an obsessed fan? Anyone, like, yeah, maybe stalking you? Yeah, don't want to name, We don't want to name names, because they'll, they'll prop, because they're so obsessed, they'll probably see this. Yeah. Well, they'll definitely see it, in fact. So, yeah, we're not going to name names, but there's definitely some fans which are... No, no, no boundaries. Uh, give, give them an inch, they take a mile. <laughs> yeah. Do they follow you? Or, like, In a way. Yeah, you yeah we've definitely had people spend a lot of money coming to like all of our shows on a tour, or uh, even finding out on the internet where we're hanging out or whatever. It makes us sound like assholes to complain about these people doing all this. It yeah, but sounds some nice. Go too far. But sometimes yeah. it's yeah, like it is too far. Sometimes yeah. you, you gotta, they, you know, you feel like they gotta take a step back and realize that. Like being a bit insane. Yeah. Is yeah. anybody like sh shaking or crying? Like when they Sam gets the Sam odd gets cry. Yeah, I'll every now and again. Uh, yeah. I cry. Oh, I cry sometimes when I meet him. I cry when I meet <laughs> our bassist almost every day. Yeah. Just tears of joy. Though. Tears of joy. Yeah. So what's the most annoying question like a fan could ask you? Like maybe on, like if they post something on the band site where you it just annoys when you. When people go oh. Why haven't you played such and such a place and we played yeah. there like the day before? Oh, yeah. oh,